The GFB started it in about 2010, really the stone age of the gluten-free world. Uh, most of us are very familiar with gluten-free now, but when we started, um, there's only a few products in the market, and we were really focused on making the best tasting protein bars in the market with simple, high-quality ingredients, and that really didn't exist at the time. At the GFB, what we like to say is we make good-for-you foods in good-for-you ways. So what does that mean? Well, number one, it's using great, high-quality ingredients to create great taste. We all want to look forward to what we're eating, but it also means in making it in good-for-you ways. So a couple of things we're really proud of in terms of the good-for-you ways is, our first of all, our hiring program. Um, about 60%, maybe 65% of our production team is returning citizens, which means formerly incarcerated folks. So just really focused on building the community, second chances, and, and building our team here. And then secondly, really focused on sustainability. We published our sustainability report on our website, and that's always available to look at. And one of the things we're really working on um, is becoming zero waste certified. Um, we have saved over 100 tons of waste this year from going to the landfill. Um, and we're also a certified B Corp, which means we're focused on people and planet as well as making a profit. Probably 2013, um, we had done some research before we kicked the business off and we saw that Canada was always a health-minded population and gluten-free was actually gaining a lot of traction in Canada. So the International Marketing Program at Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development really helped us get going because there's a lot of things that seem really challenging when you start to export, whether it's logistics or it's you know, pricing or how to deal with your packaging. And the group there really helped us connect to uh, a lot of different resources to solve those problems. We had the chance to go on a trade mission to Toronto and kind of learn more about the market, and that's how we got started. There's really two key parts to that trade mission. The first part is going on a trade tour, going to stores, looking at uh, competitors, customers, how the stores look over there uh, when we went to Toronto. And you're with about 10 to 15 different companies at the same time, so it's a chance to interact with peers and talk about what their challenges or thoughts are on exporting. And then the second part of it is um, a chance to interview or talk to um, different distributors or brokers or potential customers in the market, um, learn about how things like pricing work and, and how distribution works. Um, kind of a speed dating concept where you got 15 to 20 minutes with each person to talk about uh, potential business together. The trade mission really helped us get into Canada and grow into Canada because it connected us with the right people. And so through that trade mission, we met our broker um, who connected us to our two distributors in Canada and we still work with them today and we still work with that broker today and it's been five years, it's been a great partnership. Um, our business grew 60% last year for Canada and it's actually on pace to double this year. Um, and uh, so yeah, I mean, that mission is really what kicked off you know, our business in Canada and without it, I don't think we'd be exporting to Canada. Uh, as a result of our exporting business, we've added about six to seven jobs. Um, so you know, it's about 15% of our business today and, and uh, hopefully it continues to grow. We're planning to double the business this year and if that continues to happen, we will have a lot more, a lot more folks on the floor focused on Canada business.